Hey everyone, this is Chris with Distant Evolution. I'm here today to show you a 3D tile map editor that will be coming to Unit Store shortly. Uh, what I kind of want to do with this tutorial is give you a brief instruction how to set up and then uh, kind of show you what this utility can do. Um, first, what I want to do is uh, right click on Assets, Import New Package, Custom Package, and then wherever you had downloaded this to go ahead and open it and import. Once it's imported you should see a folder pop up and also under Windows there should be another tab called Map Editor at the bottom and four options. I'm going to go ahead and open these up real quick and then I'll dock them. Okay, once they're out of the way kind of show you uh, a little bit of the setup. Uh, go ahead and start up the on screen GUI for both of these. And you can see that they're kind of small and uh, in the center. All you have to do is scale them up by size and then move them wherever you want on the screen. I'm just going to push them to the bottom and scale this one up. Move it over here and push that down towards the bottom. Uh, maybe scale it up a little more. Okay, once you get them wherever you want them, um, I'll explain these things a little bit later on when we're working with them. But uh, this GUI right here kind of takes care of all the controls under the mesh controls. Uh, this one here allows you to um, to add so pretty much takes care of anything under the map controls once we create a map and also from transform it allows you to move an object that's on the screen so I'm going to go ahead and add a unity cube real quick and the cube mesh also only works with any object derived from unity cube it won't work with uh, anything else so if you have a sphere on the screen uh, it won't uh, mess with the mesh on the sphere at all. You click and click and it will do absolutely nothing. But move will work with any object along with the uh, functions under transform uh, except for um, under rotate you have an option to tell it which corner of a cube you would like to mess with. You can see that if we tell it the X positive Y it'll move from that corner and then just reset rotation to get it back okay so once we have that here let's go ahead and make a tile for our tile map so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead first I wanna add a texture to this and I grabbed a texture from uh, tutorials for blender 3d.com just for use in this demo. This isn't part of the uh, actual assets you'll be getting. But I'll add that material. On right now you can see we have a brick. I'm going to change how much the uh, Y is going to move whenever we use our utility. Um, click on the object and let's scale it down. Okay, so that'll be our tile. And from here you can either reset the mesh or the collider and you can see it resets to the side or in my case I'm just going to remove the component for now alright and then you can see um, these um, numbers right here tell you the position of your object this tells you the size of your object also under extras uh, if you go to scale object to size that will also tell you the size and allow you to uh, scale whatever object you have selected to the size you want. So if you click on the object, hit update, it will update the destination size. And by telling it the size you want to scale to and hitting size, it will automatically scale that object to that size. And also create prefab. Well, here, let's, let's snap this to zero. All right. Under prefab, all you have to do is select an object, give it a name, 
we'll just call this uh, brick tile since that's what it is hit save prefab and you can see since this is using a procedural mesh it gives us an option to save the mesh so we'll just call this tile hit save and then under assets you can see that uh, the tile mesh has been saved and also the brick tile prefab we'll put this uh, tile inside mesh and put the prefab in our prefab folder and then go ahead and delete this and now we can go ahead and create our tile map and there's a little bit of setup with this I'll show you in one second we'll just call this map one and we'll select our brick tile and when you hit create the first time you're gonna see uh, mesh or must add editor map to this project tag manager list just hit OK click on any object in the scene go up to the tags go to add tag and then just go ahead and add editor map then you can select off and hit create and now it will create your map so we got tile map or map one with the first tile for our map under the maps uh, it also adds a map editor combined children and a uh, map editor tile map script the map script will save your tile that you assign to this uh, the map and the combined children whenever you actually start creating a tile map this will allow you to combine all the mesh and all the um, uh, materials of one uh, one type so since these are all uh, brick it'll allow you to save them all together all you have to do is click on the map right click on the uh, combine children hit combine now and you can see that this is now combined uh, one of the um, errors that I've been having problems with since uh, the update to unity 4 is whenever you have uh, enable undo selected and you start undoing things what the undo is a full screen undo so it's gonna start getting uh, pretty costly so you have an option to uh, unselect it but also when you hit undo you'll see this error coming up uh, in file wherever the location of your unity is and then uh, it'll give you the line number this is something that uh, is new to unity 4 and it's something I can't have access to and I haven't found a way around it yet so it's an error that you're probably gonna see until uh, unity comes up with a fix for it but I've placed a uh, error report to unity hopefully it doesn't take too long maybe with the next update um, but now that we have a uh, tile map set up go ahead and just pull this back to our one uh, map and also with these on-screen GUIs this is another um, uh, issue that I've been having is the on-screen GUI remnants from the locations of the uh, on-screen GUI will actually show up on your uh, assets and what you have to do is just hit refresh and it'll clear them also hitting play and uh, leaving that so if you hit play you can see they'll pop up here also and they should clear as soon as you exit but once you have a map tile set up the cube mesh allows you to uh, manipulate this in any way you want you can see that if we take off the update UVs it'll stretch whenever you extend your uh, tile we put updates back on 
and it'll keep it to whatever size the uh, the original um, material was set to. And then you're also able to adjust each vertices separately up and down using these buttons here and then if you want to adjust these other ones let's go ahead and make this bigger okay so put it back to a cube but this here it's just a um, way to see uh, the perception so if we want to move it in the x-axis it's easier to tell which vertices you have selected and z-axis what vertices you have selected for that so let's say we want to move out just the lower vertices we can go ahead and click on that and tell it to move out and you can see it extending outward if we click on all of them we can extend all vertices out in that direction same with the other direction okay and if you're um, say you wanted to make a bridge or something you go ahead and click on that this uh, this is for moving the up and down if you want to move just one the top vertices will be the upper one bottom vertices will be the lower one so if you want to move just the lower vertices you can see you can easily grab them and move them separately or if you want to move them all at the same time you're able to do that also okay so now that we have let's just delete that start with this one here so now that we have a tile set up in here and I kinda showed you the uh, cube mesh how to use that looking at the uh, tile map the map controls here allow you to add tiles in any direction so let's say we uh, we actually messed with this it creates a uh, clone of the actual mesh and then using the tile you're able to add the regular tile that you had added to the map but if you go to the duplicate you're able to duplicate that exact mesh that you had just used or if you use copy copy allows you to duplicate it also but this is going to be an exact copy so if you manipulate one it'll manipulate any copies of that mesh whereas duplicate allows you to separately uh, adjust each individual mesh so let's go ahead and I'll bring it back to the single tile and I'll show you the UVs real quick Okay, if you zoom in here, on the bottom of the uh, Q Mesh Utility on screen GUI, it'll tell you if you're looking at the front, or if you go around to the back, it'll switch and it'll show you if you're looking at the back. So this is going to help you with uh, determining what side of the Unity Cube you're looking at. In this case, we're looking at the front, so let's go ahead and click on front and this will allow you to offset mesh up or down and also to scale so we'll say you extend to make a ramp you're able to scale to get it back to the uh, original size you want it There we go, something like that. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the uh, UVs can do. Let's go ahead and I'll convert it back. Uh, put 
this back to zero this back to one and let's go ahead and add a few things here okay so we got our little map here little square go ahead and refresh to get rid of the on screen and from here click on map now we can combine leaves us with one mesh and if you want to use this mesh right now it's only in this scene but if you want to use it anywhere else in the project you can go ahead and go back to extras uh, create your mesh our prefab we'll call this uh, let's call map one allow us to save our prefab map one save and now we have a prefab of the map we just created and also the mesh so you can create all of your maps in just one scene uh, save them to a prefab and then load them in any other scene our levels that you create and that's a quick overview of what this can do um, go ahead and give it a try see what you like don't like give me any uh, feedback you can and I hope you like it thank you